Do you want to strengthen your upper body and core simultaneously utilizing Pilates and dumbbells? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me for a lovely arm Pilates workout to strengthen your upper body to improve your upper back posture utilizing dumbbells or you can use bottle waters or canned goods. Great for absolute beginners. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, let's start lying on your back with your knees bent, elbows bent, hands facing to the ceiling, holding the dumbbells. Gently bend your knees to a double tabletop as you inhale, and then press your hands, and then elbows straight to the ceiling for a chest press as you inhale, and then slowly lower both hands towards your chest, and then lower your feet to the mat for a tap as you exhale and then press up squeeze your core in and then exhale lower it down again to the mat and chest the dumbbells and breathe out as you press out inhale as you go down exhale as you press up we have eight more to go feel your core engagement as you press your navel towards the spine inhale as you go down exhale as you press three more two and one now hold that position the next one we're gonna do dead bug which is we're gonna slowly tap one foot so I'll start with my right as I slowly extend and overhead with my left opposite side tap as well to the mat if you can overhead to the opposite side so now my left foot down and then exhale as i go back center so alternating left and right it's a little bit confusing to go opposite side that targets more on your core but if it's easier for you to do same side that's fine inhale and then exhale as you go back center tap and center two more to go you're gonna feel this on your shoulders your core last set and back center okay my friends now we're gonna lower one side of your elbow to the mat and then tap the opposite leg and then back center so it's a, like a dance move so you're tapping your elbow and then your foot opposite side press down it's almost a dead bug with alternating chest press so i'm tapping my left foot lowering my right elbow and back center as you press up you exhale Four more. Three. Two. Last set. And one. Well done. And lower your foot down to rest. And now we're going to do chest fly when you're going to lower both elbows to the side this time. Slightly bend your elbows a little bit as you inhale and then exhale reach forward squeeze your abdominal muscles and then inhale as you go down exhale reach forward towards your knees pulling it together and then lowering yourself down inhale exhale squeezing your core in five more feel your abdominal muscles engage Strengthen your chest muscles. Inhale and then exhale, reach. As much as you can, try to use your core, not your neck muscles. Last one. And down. Well done. Okay, my friends, with your knees bent, extend one leg with your 
toes pointing to the ceiling, knees locked. And then we're gonna slowly lift your arms forward with your elbows straight. As you do a small circle, like a size of a small dish, pressing your hands towards the ceiling, engaging your chest muscles. And now we'll do reverse circles. Try not to rock your hips. In and out. Two and one. Now let's switch to the other side with your right knee extended, toes pointing to the ceiling, small circles. Feel that in your lower abdominal muscles as you squeeze your core in. And now reverse circles to the other way around. Last one and down. Well done. Place the dumbbell to your sides and we're gonna slowly lift your glutes off the mat for a lovely bridge as you inhale and then exhale bicep curls. So I'm pulling my hands towards my shoulder and then lowering the dumbbell down to the side of my hips as I lower my hips down. Want bone to bone to the mat as I breathe out. Inhale, lift your glutes. Bend your elbows. Exhale down. Lift. Bend. Exhale down. Bridge. Bend. Back. Down. Two more. Squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Last one. And down. Whew, that was beautiful. Now lift both knees up for a double tabletop. And then lift the dumbbells to the side of your knees. And then reach for your ankles as much as you can. As you slowly extend your knees and then overhead and then around scoop around and then bend to double knee bends reach as you extend to pilates stance circle and then reach inhale exhale squeeze your core in two more last one and down Last one. Well done. Now let's lie on your side. Elbows extended. Press your head to the side of the mat. And one hand on the side of your hip to tumble. As you slowly lift your arm overhead. As you inhale. And then exhale, lift your foot at the same time. Tapping your leg with the dumbbell. Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you lift. Eight more. Feels good on your side of your hip and your shoulder. Overhead and lift. Three more. Two. And one. Now we're gonna slide your foot and then bend your elbow. And then reach, slide and reach slide tap elbow to knee and then reach breathe out breathe in as you tap two more last one and now let's rest on our elbow elbow level to your shoulder with the dumbbell facing up and your knee slightly bent with the dumbbell facing up, elbow resting on your hips as you do a lovely lift on your side of your hip for a side plank, hip lift, and then extend as you breathe out. As you go down, bend your elbow and then press up. Inhale as you go down, lift your hip and extend your elbow as you exhale. <sighs> inhale and exhale, reach. Down as you inhale, exhale as you reach. Four more, 
three, two, last one. Well done. Now let's switch to the other side. Rest your shoulders down all the way down to the mat and your head on your shoulder with the dumbbell on your side. Okay, my friends, slowly lift your arms up overhead and then lift your foot up and down. Squeezing your core in as you reach up. Feel that hip and shoulder engage. Inhale as you overhead. Exhale as you lift. Four more. You can feel one side a little bit weaker. If it's non-dominant side, then that's normal. As long as there's no pain. Last one. And now we're gonna tap your knee and elbow together as you slide and slide up as you breathe out. Slide, inhale, exhale, reach up. Squeezing your core in as you reach up. Bend your elbow and then your knee, tap. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, and one. Okay, on your elbows, my friends. Elbow level to your shoulder, knees bent. Hand on your hip as we slowly lift and then dumbbell up. And reach up as you lift your hip. Inhale as you go down, exhale as you reach. Squeezing your core in, gauging those muscles, your core. Six more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, my friends. And one. Now let's lie on your stomach to engage your upper back muscles. This is a little bit much more difficult. Dumbbells out of the mat to a letter V position. Lift your arms up. As you lift your arms up and then lift your foot up as you lower your dumbbell down. Your feet up with your knees straight in the V position. And then down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. And then lift your feet up. Inhale. Exhale. Alternating arms and legs. Feel the burn on your upper back. Squeeze your abdominal muscles to protect your spine. Four more. Three. Lift. Two. Last one. And one. Whew, that was a challenge. Now we're going to slowly place the dumbbells in the center and then place it out of the mat and then bend your knees. Feel that on your lower back. As you bend and squeeze your core in, press, it. place the dumbbells in and then out and then as you place it out, bend your knees. Inhale, exhale and bend. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. and one let's go to our hands in this position stretch our back for a lovely cat and camel so round your shoulder belly button in as you round and exhale as you look up squeeze your core in have your curl exhale up inhale round Exhale up. Four more. Angry cat. As you exhale, arch your low back to camel. Two more. Last one, my friends. 
curl in and out okay my friends with this position we're gonna do a lovely reach in one arm and then kick with the opposite leg and then reach on the opposite arm kick with the opposite leg so alternating left and then right leg right hand and then left leg eight more eight more reach kick reach and then kick last set and then you're right and now we'll do it simultaneously as you reach your arm you extend your leg if this is still too difficult for this bird dog continue with what we did earlier this is a lot on your core now as we progress four more three well done now we'll do a little bit rest on your back by doing a child pose lower your hips down extend your arm forward and rest your chest down to the mat to rest well done back to your hands and knees now we'll do rows one arm at a time Pull your elbow back, keeping your core engaged as you pull and place the dumbbell near your chest and then exhale down, then switch to the other side. Left, right, squeeze your core in, target your upper back muscles to improve your posture. Four more. three two and one and now we're progressing simultaneously as you bend your elbow you lift your opposite leg for a fire hydrant so I'm like opening my hip to the right and then down so as I bend my right balance with my left hand and then lifting my left knee to this side so if you can't do this yet just continue with the rows, single arm rows. This is engaging your core muscles. Four more, opposite side. As I bend my right, um, hand towards my chest, my left knees out. Opposite side, not the same side. Two more. Last one. And that's it. Let's cool down now. And that's it. And now we're going to do a lovely overhead trunk twist and then, and then reach and then place down to the mat. Trunk twist and reach. This is good for your upper back strength and mobility of your thoracic spine for your posture. Pull and then reach. Pull and then reach. Again, pull and then reach and look up. Pull and then reach. Last set. Pull and then reach. Pull and then reach. And now we're gonna sit up. We're almost cooling down now. Dumbbell on your side. Lift overhead. Slightly bend your elbow back to the side. With your shoulders external rotated. Thumbs out. And then reach up shoulder press exhale down inhale reach exhale down seven more inhale as you reach overhead exhale down elbows slurp slightly external rotated then reach press up and then down exhale as you press up 
Inhale as you go down, squeezing your core in, keeping your back straight, improving your upper back posture. We're almost done. Four more. Three. Two. And one. And we are gonna do lovely shoulder rolls with your elbows bent. Roll back. You can also do with your elbows extended if you wanna challenge more, but for if you're tired now, elbows bent, feel the burn. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let go of the dumbbells so we can stretch properly for our neck. Arms to the side, slowly tilt your head on one side. Feel that lovely stretch on your shoulders all the way to your neck. And elbows, and then switch to the other side. Close your eyes to release the tension. You work hard today for an arm pilates. It's nice to challenge your body once in a while to further improve your strength and posture and overall health. Tilt to the other side. Now turn your head to one side. You're trying to look back behind your shoulder. And then the other side. Turn your head to the opposite side. Like you're trying to look back behind your shoulder towards the left. And then to the other side. As you breathe out, last set. And then other side. Now from this position, place your hands in front of you and we'll do a lovely cat and camel and sitting. And then look up, frown, it's an angry cat. Engage your core, exhale up, inhale, exhale, two more, last one. And that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my simple core and arm pilates targeting your upper back shoulders to prove your posture. If you're having rounded shoulders and you need to strengthen your upper back muscles and your core strength. If you love this video and you want to learn more about pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health and wellness, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so you won't miss everything. Every like you give to my channel, you are supporting me. And I'm thankful and grateful from each one of you. If you have any questions, suggestions, or questions, or if you love this kind of exercise, leave a comment down below and I'll try to make more of these kind of videos. I'll be relaunching my back masterclass for those who need an extra help and boost from me to guide you safely and effectively if you're suffering from back pain and you want to regain life without back pain to improve your core and overall posture. Click the link down below, be part of my early bird waitlist so you will get a direct email from me on how to join my class exclusively. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy. You'll see you in my next video. Bye!